thanks for tuning into the channel and welcome to 2025. So um, we are up here in the mountains today. I want to show you uh, the solar panel that Bougie RB sent over to me. This is a 200 watt uh, bifacial uh, solar panel. Um, it's available in 12 volt and 24 volt. It's also available in uh, 100 watt panels. So it has a uh, 16 bus bar design right here, which is uh, different from a regular panel, which uh, was be normally a nine or a five bus bar design, which is going to make it much more efficient. It also, uh, if you can see my hand through here, it's got some transparency to it. Now, my understanding is to help uh, dissipate the heat because um, as solar panels get hot at, out in the sun, uh, they start to lose a little bit of their efficiency and they, they don't, um, they don't do as well. So by trying to kick, get rid of some of this heat that, um, these panels are going to collect out there in the sun, um, it should help keep the efficiency up. It is uh, 50 inches tall and 30 inches wide, and it has cells on both sides, which is the bifacial. So it allows it to collect uh, sunlight from this side and from the back side, especially if it's mounted to a um, shiny surface, a white surface. It's a smaller compact design because it's much more efficient than just your standard monocrystalline panel. Uh, makes it ideal for the tops of motorhomes. Um, I'm gonna see if it'll actually fit on the roof rack of my truck. Um, I think it might be too big, um, but then it would give me a 200 watt panel up there versus a 100 watt panel. The other part of this panel is it's essentially two panels in one. And we're gonna talk about this when we get the shading. Uh, how important that is but basically you've got a 100 watt panel here and a 100 watt panel there it uses the standard mc4 connector for connecting it me personally this will be used like i said either on my truck or on my rv because this is a high energy panel um, it puts out uh more voltage so this thing runs at like 36 volts versus you know 23 to 25 volts from standard other panels so you you get supposedly a more efficient panel up to 25 percent efficiency but you pay the price with it being higher voltage so the nice thing about this one if you can see it um i'll zoom i'll get you some zoom ins is it's a black anodized frame it's still got the uh, protective plastic on it i've got to peel that off at some point which is a little more premium looking a um, little more stealth versus the uh, aluminum you know, bare aluminum frames that are usually found on these guys. So I think what we'll do is we'll start getting some testing done for you. I had some testing that I did Saturday, last Saturday, um, and early in the morning when the sun was offset and it was I didn't have good sun on the panels. Uh, and I'll, I'll go ahead and put that in the video right now. And then when we come back from that, we'll jump right into um, testing these guys. So what I thought we would do is do some off angle. Uh, it's completely um, in the wrong direction for, as you can see, the shadow for the uh, sun to, you know, to maximize it. But we will plug it in and see what, see what we get for input. A portion of it there is still in the shade. Like I said, it's off to the side, but it does have a uh, white background behind it, which might help with the bifacial. So there we go, came up. And so just even being at that bad angle, we're still grabbing 70 watts, 71. Okay, now we brought out our Renergy standard mono panel. It's at the exact same angle right there. Um, same amount of shade down at the bottom, but because of the design of these, I bet we have a very degraded um, power output based on that shadow. We're getting a whopping five watts. All right, so we made some changes here. I had to move it away from the tree over here because the tree's now in full shade. We're not going to have too much sun right here either. We'll move it over there in a little bit, but um, I got this pre-positioned. I use the can trick. If you don't know, the can trick is there's a shadow that the can casts in all the different directions based on how it needs to be 
maneuvered. And so I had it perfect where there was zero shadow and plugged it in real quick just to see and the watts weren't there that I thought should be there. So I actually picked it up a little bit, made it a little more vertical and the watts jumped up to where I think they're gonna be about max. So let's get it plugged in. Turn the camera on back here so you can see what it does. We'll see what, uh, what it ramps up to. You know, I mean, we're close to 7,000 feet here, so, you know, the, the way the sun comes across is a little lower um, in trajectory from where I'm standing versus if I'm at my house and it's much higher trajectory. So I don't know, I'm not a solar guru, so I don't know if the position in the sky makes a huge deal if you have the panel lined up on it. So I, I don't have that information, it's something you can Google it. But it's working fine, here it is, we've ramped up to 165 watts. And it's holding pretty steady there at 165. Can't complain. I think last weekend when I was doing some of the earlier testing, uh, it was a hotter day, I was doing it from the house. I think the best I got was like 170 something. So, um, can't say too much about it. But here's the other thing that's pretty cool about this panel, is we talked about this being two separate halves. So most panels, which we'll prove here in a minute, if you shade it, um, even a section of it, you almost kill the panel. There's hardly any juice coming out of it, sometimes none, depending on how much shade. But what we'll do is we'll take this panel right now, because there's two, two 100 waters, I can shade a big portion here in the middle. The panel resets itself, so it stops making any power, and then it, it obviously recalibrates itself just to, uh, start making power again and we'll watch it ramp up here 105 106 with that much shade we'll do the exact same shading on the other panel and uh, show you what that's all about so let's get that panel out and we'll do a little size comparisons I'm gonna lay that panel right on top of this one so it's exactly the same so it's apples to apples all right so this one is exactly on it perfectly flush you can see the size difference, the form factor here. So this particular panel, this is a Renogy panel. It's, you know, six, seven inches taller and maybe three inches wider, two and a half, three inches wider. The area of the panel on this one is like 1,611 square inches and the Bouge RV one is 1,500 square inches. Get this one plugged in, see what it does. We didn't go on this Renogy panel and show you, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine bus bars. Struggle is real back here. And that dropped it down to 50, 60 watts, 67. Nope, still climbing. 74 watts shaded. So nowhere near as good as the Bouge RV did um, shaded because it was over 100 still. So that just shows you the benefit of having that now if we put this panel against something bright that, re that was reflective or something like that the bouge would actually pick up a few more um, i tested that um, at the house too but uh, the panels right here all against this white garage door background see if that makes a difference 173 174 so not too bad and it does pick up a few more um, watts not a ton, you know, it's not life changing, but uh, it does a pretty good job. So for size wise, you know, the, the way they fit, you'd actually have to look at what your use case scenario is. Is a shorter, fatter panel gonna work for you? A longer, skinnier panel gonna work for you? Um, Bouge RV, RV makes all different sizes. They make the, um, the flexible panels. Actually, that's what they wanted to send me originally. And when I said yes, they were like, ah, we don't have any because this was right um, right before Christmas, so they were out. Um, so they sent the hard one anyway, which is fine because I don't really have a use case scenario for the flexible one. Um, that would go on uh, like on a clamshell roof uh, rooftop tent or a, a teardrop tr you know trailer that like that. You know, another nice little thing that Bouge RV sends is they actually send a user manual and a sheet with all the statistics on it, but. These panels, that panel didn't come with anything. Just came in a box. 
So that's kind of nice. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for me. Um, thanks for tuning in again. You know, it's a short video. I mean, you can only talk about a solar panel so much. Um, and I'm not a, you know, a solar panel guru. If you want to do that kind of stuff, go watch Hobo Tech or something. He's got all kinds of good stuff with all the little nerdy details um, that some people love. So, but appreciate you watching. Um, look forward to an awesome 2025. Got a lot of plans. Um, I think you're going to enjoy them. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video.